Dalit lawyer killed allegedly for posts criticizing Brahmanism. In Jugarat, India, a Dalit lawyer and activist in Jugarat, India, was killed by a man from Mumbai, allegedly over his social media posts criticizing Brahmanism. Um, the accused and five other suspects were arrested in connection with his death. The lawyer, um, Devji Maheshwari, was a senior member of the Indian Legal Professionals Association and the All India Backward and Minor Minority Communities Employees Federation, which fights caste discrimination. So backward and minority communities is usually referring to lower caste um, communities. Um, an unidentified crime branch, branch official in Mumbai told reporters that the accused, identified only as Raval, had threatened Mahesh uh, Vari over his activism in the past as well. The victim's family named nine suspects and refused to accept his body until all of them were arrested. Four suspects remain at large. So a lot of our Indian community asked me to highlight this news because they wanted to highlight um, what individual activists are up against, right? So a lot of large scale protests and activism has to be um, widely sponsored. Um, Ju, Ju Jarat. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and there was a lot going on with the case of this lawyer. So um, Jujarat is the state where Modi ruled as the chief minister before he became the PM of India. And that is also where he led a pogrom against Muslims during his rule of that state. And um, because it's a wealthier part of India, um, Hin what's this word? Hindutva Wadis like to lift it up as an example of how can Hindutva can bring back the former glory of India. Um, so this lawyer was posting stuff that is um, crit critical of Brahmanism, which is Brahmins are the highest in the caste system. They have the most privileges. Um and he kept doing his activism. He was threatened by this person on multiple occasions. And this person, like, traveled out of his way to go murder this man. Um, wow. Yeah. Very, wow. Dedicated. He, uh, yeah. He literally traveled from Mumbai just mm -hmm. to go kill him. Um, so this just highlights, like, what anti-religious or anti-Brahminism and anti-BJP activists have to face. Um, according to his wife, he was also getting threats from a lot of people at his work. Um, and there was reportedly some sort of other property dispute that he was working on and was threatened under that. Um, and um, people are worried about the murderer not getting an appropriate sentence um, because of the influence of the BJP in this region. And, um, yes. I, I want to highlight this comment on our Facebook page by, I don't know how to pronounce, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but the comment says, Hinduism is a, uh, Hinduism is a way of life, they said. It's peaceful, they said. So that was got the most reactions. Yep. All right. But Rivka, did you want to add anything to this? No, I mean, it's just really more of the same sad religious violence and feeling justified. The thing I wanted to add actually has to do with what we were talking about before. I wanted to mention it, but um, we can throw, I can throw it in at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, it just goes to show, like, I firmly believe that casteism is one of the most evil inventions of mankind. And um, although it is likely that a lot of progress has been made, um, there is still so much more progress to be made. Um, and casteism is global. It's been exported beyond the borders of India, but is particularly potent and violent within India, and especially states and areas as heavily controlled by BJP as this area. Um, do you have anything to add, Armin? Yeah, I do want to highlight this comment by uh, Harish Harish Kumar saying, "Oh, go away! This notification is." All right, you know, uh, so saying, you know, if you ask 
Sangi term for castes in India about this? He'll say, did you ask when that Muslim from this country, oh, I cannot say this word, uh, did like boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, I'm gonna call it boom, boom. Uh, because YouTube doesn't like me saying this. Boom, boom, that country, you only ask when a Hindu is involved, you anti-Indian. And then his Harris is like quoting them. And then he's, his Harris's own response is, uh, Harris is from India. Harris is saying, Harish, sorry, saying, why would I bother asking about another country? What does Muslim have anything to do with this? They always compare themselves to something bad uh, and say that they are not that bad fools. Yeah, there's a name for this. It's called whataboutism, right? So, uh, yeah, I think Hindu Hindutva people have mastered, mastered, the, they have a record on whataboutism compared to any other community that I have seen, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I mean, I think Harish said exactly, the comment section said exactly what it, let me see if there's anything I want to highlight. And it's Soraya or Katie are saying anything. This there's is a, one of the reasons why I'm so appreciative and yeah. eternally impressed by those individual activists in India, right. because yes. they are up against so much especially if they're just doing it on their own they're not funded it's um dangerous and you guys are amazing right yeah it looks like this by the way i don't know what's happening here but this is a, this is related to this article somehow i'm not sure what's happening here but you know so some people are doing stuff underground it's happening mm -hmm. anyways anyways uh rifka did you want to add anything before we go yeah, I actually meant to say this um, about the turkey thing, and I just didn't have a chance. I kind of we got sidetracked. So mm. I just wanted to mention that Turkey's not alone in in this kind of thing. I mean, Morocco up until two thousand and sixteen, two thousand and seventeen, used to jail people for insulting. They were insulting mm. the king or the king's family, insulting mm. Islam, giving offense to the religion give, or uh, insulting the territories of Morocco. Right. Now they just, you just get fined. So my right. point is, is that this thing about, you know, the Kings or the rulers of the country being sacrosanct from being criticized mm. is pretty common. And you, I think that it's a really sad state of affairs. Right. Okay. But Rivka, that. that's important. Thank you for saying that. But in the future, it's it's really confuses our editor to. I understand that. I'm to, sorry. Like she's not gonna know, she's not gonna know what to do now. But yeah. uh, Katie is saying like, um, wait, uh, Brahmanism is that how you say it? Brahmanism, Brahmanism. yeah, is like Brahmanism is like Orthodox Hinduism with the Brahmin centric society, and binary saying a lot of caste system has ended, but still in many remote places, higher caste individuals do not want to lose their power, and they use such tactics to maintain their power. Um, okay, and Marco, oh, wow, we got a super chat by Marco. Marco saying, please give money to Armin; he will spend it on food, shelter. I can't say that one, and I can't say that one as well. Yeah, basically essentials. Yeah, um, okay, I'm not going to say those words because because YouTube hates it, but thank you so much, Marco, for the super chat and also for, you know, um, make you know making it a little bit less depressing here sometimes. But go didn't, on. didn't we do an article about the casteism being exported even to, like, big tech companies in the West? I remember specifically uh, California. There mm -hmm. was some That's what I was discussing. To, with regard there. to that, too. So, you know, even if people leave that country, that mindset seems to come with them, regardless of whether they're not there. Cisco, anymore. the yeah, technology company Cisco, yep. is facing America's first lawsuit regarding specifically caste. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I remember. Oh that. my gosh, Arjun, thank you so much for the twenty Canadian dollar super chat. Oh, um, Arjun, yeah. there's another God uh, warrior. Yeah, uh, right. Warrior, yeah. Heart. Yeah. Um, our our ex Hindu warrior. Um, there's nothing I appreciate more than Hinduism being exposed. Thank you, thank you, yeah. and you also contribute to that. 
Yes, and we're going to dedicate a lot of this channel, uh, uh, this channel, Atheist Republic's activism, to doing exactly that. But celebrating the traditions while exposing the beliefs. That's what we're going to do, right? We're going to celebrate the tradition, celebrate the art, celebrate the mythology while exposing and ridiculing the belief. That's and what we're going to do. And the food. Indian food it, it, rocks. Enjoy. Yes. The, yeah. It does. It does. It's a bit too spicy sometimes, but that's good. <laughs> oh, no. This is... Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to go before these two murder me. Okay. <laughs> no, but I love buttered chicken. Best Ooh, thing. Best thing ever. Hungry. Bindi yes. masala. No, that's my now that favorite you made me hungry, you have to go before my corner store closes. <laughs> sashimi is the first, number one. So thank you to the Japanese people for sashimi. But right below that, the second best food in the world is butter chicken. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for right. joining us, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Every single... It's your dharma. This is a new thing. <laughs> it's your dharma. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Every single one of you. Do it. Do it now. You don't want to come back as a fly. <laughs> I'm your next life. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So